Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Today I want to give you a little bit of a reading from my book, just the beginning a little bit. And I want you people to understand how, when you're in prison and you're getting sentenced, how your mind works. Sentencing Day, Metropolitan Detention Center, Brooklyn, New York, September 7, 2010. The door to my cell was open early, about 4 a.m. A guard dressed in his neatly pressed uniform stepped inside to wake me up. I was already awake, though, and had been for hours, wondering if I made a mistake. Later in the morning, I'd be in a federal courtroom where a judge would pass sentence on me, a term from 97 to 110 months in a federal prison. I agreed to that amount of time in a plea deal, but now I was having second thoughts. If I'd gone to trial, could I have beaten the charges? Could I have walked out of the courtroom a totally free man? As I sat on my bunk, staring at the cell wall, I began to think maybe I could have. Knock it off, I told myself. What done is done. They charged me under RICO, the federal government's most effective weapon against organized crime. If you fought and lost, which most defendants did, they threw the fucking book at you. That point was driven home to me by my friend and fellow inmate, Anthony Tico and Tico. While we were in the courthouse bullpen area, and the day before I accepted the government's offer. Spado, take the plea and you will see daylight. You've already been here 30 months. After you get the good time credit you got coming, you'll be out quick. If you go to trial, they will shut your lights out. Folks, that's the beginning of my book. I strongly urge you to purchase this book. You will love it. I guarantee it. Thank you and God bless you all.